Okay, next up in our JavaScript interview question series, we have a fun one. Here we're going to be trying to generate random hex colors. So those are the six-digit hex colors that you'd use in CSS or your HTML. So in this example, what I want is a function that will give me in one line, so one line of code, one random hex color. So when I write console.log, when this runs, it's going to call the function color and return that one color. So give this a shot. There are lots of possible solutions to this. I'm going to show the one that I prefer, but there's a number of solutions. So give it a shot and I'll come back in a second. Uh, this starter code, if you're looking for it, there's a link to it in the description down below. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, welcome back. So taking up this solution, what we're looking to do is we want to generate a red, a green, and a blue value. It's got to be six digits long. That means that the red value can be anywhere from 0 to 255 expressed as a hexadecimal value, so that's 00 to FF. We need to have two digits because the final answer is going to be six digits long. It can't be four, it can't be five. I mean, we could end up with FFF. Well, that's three digits. That's going to work, but we want a six, and so if only one of them had two digits, like this, then it looks at this and says, hey, you're missing one. Well, what if we had uh, A7 as the middle color? Again, we're missing a digit. It has to be six every time. So we can generate a random number. So we can use math.random. And I'm going to do this broken down in steps and then convert it into the single line. This is going to give me a value between zero and one. So zero point something like 15 digits long. I'm going to take that number. So let's put this into a variable. We'll say let c equal that. We'll write it out. Then we're going to take that number and convert it into hexadecimal. So just this big long decimal number. And we'll say um, c is now going to be c to string because we want the final value to be a string, it's going to start with this hashtag, this octothorpe, and then it's going to have the six digits after it. Now, you can see here in the notes, it says the first and only argument that you could put in to the toString method is the radix. That's the base. By default, if you don't provide something, it's going to be a base 10, which is what all the numbers that we work with are. 0 through 9. Those are the possible digits. For hexadecimal, 16 is the radix. 16 is the base used. So we've got 0 through 9 and then A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, we've got that. And we can console log that. Write it out again. So let's take a look at that and see what we get. I'll open up my console here and we'll run this one. There we are. So there is the first value, the integer number for C, 0 0.939556, blah, blah, blah. The next one, this is writing out 0.F086CB. So you can see that this is a hexadecimal value. It's still a decimal. But what I can do here now is I can extract part of this. I can say I'm going to take the first six digits from this, whatever it is. It's going to be a random value. I'm going to take the first six digits. I know it's always going to be more than six. So we're going to use substring. And that's what we're going to do here. We will say math.random convert to string with base 16. And then because it's a string, I can call substring. And I can start on not zero, not one, but position two. And then I'm going to go up to position eight. That's going to give me six digits every single time I run this. So we will comment this out. Save it. Oh, sorry, we need the plus sign here to concatenate this. You could use string concat if you want, but that's easy enough. Run this again, and there we are. There is my random hex value. And every time I run this, I'm going to get something that is completely unique. And that's it. Like I said at the beginning, this is not the only solution to this, but this is the one that I prefer. This is the one I find simplest and easiest to explain and use and easiest to remember. 
So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And if anybody else wants to post a possible solution to this, feel free to do that in the comments as well. Share that with other people. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.